Connor Robinson lived with a failing heart for most of his life. At the age of 10, he suffered his first cardiac arrest, collapsing in the street on his way to school. Connor was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a genetic condition which can cause the heartbeat to slow down. In August 2021, aged 29, Connor was admitted to hospital. He was discharged 10 days later, but began to feel unwell again the next day. Living alone in temporary accommodation in Ivy Bridge, Connor called an ambulance. By the time the paramedics arrived, he was dead. Today, an inquest took place and heard evidence from those involved in Connor's care. The court heard that Connor repeatedly declined the chance to have a defibrillator or pacemaker fitted, which could have prolonged his life. Outside court, I spoke to Kathy, Connor's mother. If somebody dies within 24 hours of leaving hospital, they haven't gone through a formal discharge procedure, they've asked for medical intervention, which hasn't been followed up on. My son was very vulnerable, so he needed a care package that needed to change and wasn't in place. It's utterly distressing to know that your son trusted in authorities who are completely under-resourced, really. A spokesman for the hospital trust said, we have identified a number of points around Connor's discharge where we can strengthen our processes. These were considered and changes have been implemented and embedded as part of our ongoing care. We are committed to learning from any adverse events that occur to patients while they're in our care and to providing the highest possible quality care to all patients. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Plymouth.